Welcome to Learning Chemistry with the Professors Dubois. This is Professor Victoria, and today we will be learning about scientific notation. Scientific notation is used to represent very large numbers or very small numbers. Both types are used extensively in chemistry. For example, the number of carbon atoms in a period made by a graphite pencil is 7.5 trillion, or the width of one of those carbon atoms is 0.000000000154 meters. That's a lot of zeros to write. Now, scientists aren't lazy, but we like to be efficient. And since the numbers we use a lot take too long to write, scientists came up with a special notation to speed things along. If you're watching this video, you need help with this concept, so let's start slowly. Pick a number from 1 to 9. Okay, 8. 8 times 1 is still 8. Hang with me here, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. We can replace the 1 with 10 to the power of 0, because anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So the number 8 in scientific notation is 8 times 10 to the 0. 8 times 10 is 80. We can replace the 10 with 10 to the 1. So the number 80 is one order of magnitude larger than 8. One order of magnitude larger is 10 times larger. So the number 80 in scientific notation is 8 times 10 to the 1. Similarly, 8 times 10 times 10 is 800. We can replace the 10 times 10 with 10 to the power of 2. So the number 800 is two orders of magnitude larger than 8. Two orders of orders of magnitude larger is 10 times 10 or 100 times bigger. So the number 800 in scientific notation is 8 times 10 to the 2. You should know a few simple rules for writing a number in scientific notation. First, only one non-zero digit comes before the decimal. Second, the rest of the significant figures are after the decimal. If you need help with significant figures, search our other videos for this topic. Finally, the magnitude of the number is expressed with a multiple of 10, represented as times 10 to some integer exponent, let's say x. Since we're multiplying by tens, the order of magnitude, or the exponent, is equal to the number of places the decimal moves. In our last example, the decimal in 800 needs to move two places to satisfy the rule that only one digit can be in front of the decimal. Two places, two tens, 10 to the power of two. The number 350 is manageable and would ordinarily not require scientific notation, but we will show it as a simple example. This number has two significant digits. Remember, the first significant digit is written before the decimal and the rest go after. So 3.5. The actual number of 350 is larger than 3.5, so we need to multiply it by some number of tens. 3.5 times 10 times 10 equals 350, so it required two tens. The number of tens required is the number of places the decimal was moved and is also the exponent. Let's try it on the number of carbon atoms in a period. There are two significant figures in this number. The first goes in front of the decimal, the 7, and the rest follow along after the decimal, in this case the 5. Our actual number is much larger than this, so it needs to be multiplied by lots of tens. The exponent represents the number of tens required. You can determine this exponent by counting the number of places the decimal needed to move to have only one digit in front. In this case, the decimal moved 12 places, so the exponent is positive 12. Hint, when the actual number is larger than a single digit, then the exponent will be positive. So the number of carbon atoms in a pencil period expressed in scientific notation is 7.5 times 10 to the positive 12. How about really small numbers? The same concept is followed, but the powers of 10, or the orders of magnitude, are negative and make the number smaller by dividing by 10s instead of multiplying. That was confusing, so let me show you what I mean. 8 divided by 10 is 0.8. Divided by 10 is the same as times 10 to the negative 1. So the number 0.8 is one order of magnitude smaller than 8. One order of magnitude smaller is 10 times smaller, or it's divided by 10. 
So the number 0.8 in scientific notation is 8 times 10 to the negative 1. Let's try this on the width of a carbon atom. Here's the number in standard notation. The 1, 5, and 4 are all significant. Recall that only one digit is written in front of the decimal and the rest are written after. Since the actual number is smaller than 1.54, the exponent will be negative. That's the same as dividing by lots of tens. Counting the number of places we need to move the decimal so that only the 1 is in front is 10. So 1.54 times 10 to the negative 10. Let's try converting this number. There are three significant figures in this number. The first of which, the 2, is written before the decimal place, and the others are after. Recall that all significant figures need to be represented, and sometimes zeros are significant. The decimal needed to be moved seven places, and since our actual number is smaller than a whole number, the exponent is negative. Therefore, the number in scientific notation is 2.00 times 10 to the negative 7. Pause the video and try these examples. Check your work. Now try reversing the steps. Pause the video again and convert the following from scientific notation to standard notation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you would like to see more topics on learning chemistry with the Professors Dubois.